Today we want to talk about Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42 is a prophecy about Al Mahdi. This prophecy has not yet came to pass of yet, but it will in the near future. Many times we get this prophecy confused with the prophet Muhammad, but it is about the real Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon the Arabian prophet. We love him. He was a servant. He was not the heir. Now let's dive into this. Isaiah 42. Behold my servant whom I uphold. This is going into guiding this person. Mine elect, my chosen, in whom my soul delighteth. I brought out the fact that the Mahdi is most closest to Allah. I have put my spirit upon him. This precepts with what Jesus said. Jesus said, you can say whatever you want to say about me. It'll be forgiven. But whoever say anything about the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven in this life or in the world to come. This is going into the man who has been charged to fill this earth with equity and righteousness, just as it has been filled with wickedness. Going on, he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Now, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. There is a judgment pending on the nations. And right now we've been focusing on on the Arabs because they have something that does not belong to them. Going on, he shall not cry nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. This man is simply at home giving out messages. He's doing sermons as Al Mahdi is supposed to, in which people are supposed to be responding to his sermons. This will happen in the future. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Like I told you, I'm simply at home like the rich homie Quan, rich homie. OK, home. A bruised reed shall he not break and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto the truth. Not only is this man a light to the Gentiles, he's a Gentile messenger. OK, reaching out to the Gentiles. But this man is a gentle messenger. So this man is reaching out to the Gentiles. He's a messenger to the Gentiles. He's an apostle to the Gentiles, but he is also a light and he will restore the fortunes of Israel and he will raise up the tribes of Israel as seen in Isaiah 49 and 6. Let's get that real quick and we'll come right back. Isaiah 49 verse 6. And it reads, and he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that you may be my salvation where unto the end of the earth. Al Mahdi appears towards the end. That's how you know we running out of time because I'm here. This is not talking about the prophet Muhammad. Okay. This is speaking about a descendant of David. And it goes on to show you that when the prophet Muhammad said that he was the only prophet that reached out to other nations besides just his own, that was the mantle. Okay. Muhammad is a mantle. Let that sink in. Mohammed is a mantle. Noah reached out to other nations. Okay. Jonah reached out to other nations. Many prophets have had to warn other nations. Okay. So he was letting you know that that was not him talking. That was Al Mahdi speaking through him. As every other prophet that ever prophesied. Al Mahdi was speaking through him. Now, I'm not going to get off of you. I'm going to continue to bring up the truth about Al Mahdi. I know that irritates you. I know that hurts you. Some people find it offensive that a black man would dare to claim to be Al Mahdi. But I can't deny who I am. Is it a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Israel and to restore the preserved of Israel? 
I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. This is the man God is going to use to clean up this earth. Okay, so now let's go back to where we was at in Isaiah 42. Now, keep in mind, I'm 42 years old. I'm exactly 42 years old right now. This messenger will be a gentle messenger. This messenger is not going to be out on the street with the bullhorn. Okay, this man is going to do things a little different than the prophet Isa. The prophet Isa was shouting. On the mountaintops when he did the Sermon on the Mount. The prophet Isa was loud. Okay. This message right here that's in the house of David is different. Okay. It is it is much different. This message is coming from a man who is shy. Okay, this man is the Shiloh, get it? This man is is a different type of a messenger. He shall not fail nor be discouraged. Why would it say that? Because this man is the stone whom the builders are rejecting. Everybody is rejecting this man, rejecting him, rejecting him, rejecting him. So therefore, this man will not be discouraged. He's not going to give up. And I'm not going to give up. Till he have set judgment in the earth. Because God is using al Mahdi to judge the world. He is going to rid this earth of wickedness i speak in third person a lot um and i give god all the praise he's worthy of worship him and him only there's no deity worthy of worship but he going on thus saith god the lord he that created the heavens and stretched them out he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it he that give a breath unto the people upon it and the spirit to them that walk therein. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. I told you, al Mahdi is guided. He's guided and I am guided. He that give a breath unto the people. This man is going to be used. To bring out the knowledge that is going to raise people back to life. It's the knowledge we need. My people perish from what? A lack of knowledge. And al Mahdi has the knowledge. And spirit to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness. And will hold thine hand. He's guiding me. And will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people. For a light of the Gentiles. So this man is going to reach out to his own people, his own nation. But he's also going to reach out to the Gentiles. This man is the ruler of the Arabs. To do what? The main goal of al Mahdi is to do what? To open the blind eyes. To bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Let me tell you something. These churches are prisons these mosques are prison we are we are at a place right now in history where religion has to be restored all over somebody has to come and restore true religion that's my job i am the lord that is my name and my glory will i not give to another Neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. This is going into accurate prophecy. This is going into even a person knowing he's al -Mahdi. That takes prof prophecy. Okay, for you to even know you al -Mahdi, that takes prophecy. Verse 10, sing unto the Lord a new song. Now, in the nation, or the religion rather, of Islam, they don't really believe in singing. They don't really believe in music. They don't even really believe in dancing. They really don't believe in any of those things. The David has to come and restore the praise, the worship, 
the singing, all those things that was so-called forbidden, this man, the Mahdi, has to revise even the Quran. Because when David comes, what happens? The religion is restored. And I'm here to restore the true religion of Islam. Going on. And his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice. The villages that the Arabs, Kadar, doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rocks sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. So there's so much right here in Isaiah 42. I can keep going down and keep going down, but we want to go by this um, piece by piece. This man is going to teach the Arabs the Bible. OK, he's going to bring the Bible to life. He's going to bring the Quran to life. OK, because right now we're suffering of a lack of knowledge all over the world. Arabs have no clue that their Mahdi is black and they have no clue that in the Bible, it confirms that the ruler of the Arabs would be a black man, a descendant of David. OK, this man, Al Mahdi, is like the man that was born blind. OK, now let's go to verse. Uh, let's go to verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry a roar. He shall prevail against his en enemies. This is all going into Al Mahdi. This is all going into God using this man. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So there's going to go from uh, a point in this man's life where he's shy. And then he's just going to just start letting loose and just letting out going on. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all the herbs all their herbs and I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. All these Arabians are blind to the Bible. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. Things, these things will I do unto them and not forsake them. They shall not be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say to molten images, ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf and look ye blind that ye may see. Now watch this. Who is blind but my servant? Al Mahdi has been, the, he's been the man born blind or deaf as my messenger that I sent. There's no angels coming out of the sky talking to this guy. There's nothing going on like at the time of the prophet Muhammad's conversion and all the other messengers. This man is simply being guided. He's simply being guided. Who is blind as he that is perfect? This man was an heir. He came from heaven. Okay. This man is righteous. And blind as the Lord's servant. Okay. Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening the ears, but he hear not. This man speaking the truth. People don't want to listen. Now watch this. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. This man is going to revise the law. This is going into the Bible, this is going into the Quran, the Hadiths. This man is going to restore true religion. So there you have it. That's just something brief today. Um, letting you know that Al Mahdi's job is to restore true religion. Right now, religion is in a mess, whether you are in Christianity or in Islam. There's a whole lot of things that need to be restored. And here you have it. Al Mahdi, he's not mentioned by name, okay? But his mission, 
his goals, everything is right here in Isaiah 42. Okay, this man is the ruler of the Arabs. Okay, and I just wanted to show you all that today so you can see it from the Bible. From the Bible. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who will become real Muslims.